Thank you, and uh, I'm going to ask uh, Karen to come up and make some closing comments. She's with OECD. Join me in thanking our, uh, our translators and our audio team today. So thank you so much. Thanks, Scott. Well, first I just want to say, you know, uh, thank you to all of you because it was really a great day. Um, all of the panelists, the moderators, and the participants with questions. Um, because uh, this, kind of, this kind of discussion and debate, we also take back with us. So you can take back things that you've learned, and we'll take back things that, that we've learned. So it's really been uh, great on, on those ends. Um, you know, to quote a, a former U.S. official, you know, we can think about the things we know, the known unknowns and the unknown unknowns. And so I think there are some knowns that, we, that we've talked about today. Uh, we know a lot about our demographic situation. It might be different in Guatemala versus uh, uh, Sweden or Japan. Or, um, but we do know that we have some, uh, some real pressing issues on the demographic front we need to deal with. We know jobs are changing. Um, maybe some of the known unknowns, we don't know to what extent. In all, in all sectors, what, are the, what, are, what will our tasks look like 20 years from now? Um, but at least we know to start talking and having that dialogue. And I think a lot of the speakers here today were, um, were very helpful in understanding uh, you know, how the future of work can be a tool to just convene a conversation and how to bring people uh, together to think about how to continue to do great workforce development and how to link that better with um, other economic development efforts. Um, we also heard about some potential tensions, which might not always be tensions in terms of the quantity and the quality of jobs or the sort of more foundational general skills versus some of the more specific. Um, and you know, there might be opportunities to, to work on both at the same time. So maybe these are not always the tensions that we perceive. Um, but there are some serious challenges that were, that were raised today about some of the more rural communities and maybe some urban communities that are uh, maybe not the big cities, um, some particular challenges with uh, the low-skilled uh, populations. and then who bears what kinds of risks and who pays for what and how we try to um, sort of address and prepare and, and I think resiliency was a key word that we heard today about how to just make all of our systems and our, our workers and, and, and firms resilient. Um, so maybe just, uh, and we learned some new words, credible skills signals, <laughs> skill sheds, better data to, for better policy for better lives so uh, so we have some new new fun terms um, so maybe just to close I want to you know thank uh, and again apologies to the interpreters Naswa, Nob, WAPES, uh, IDB, DLO, ETA, and ILAB within DOL. Um, uh, ILAB being our official uh, counterparts to, to the OECD from DOL. Um, and then just to say that if you're interested in learning more about OECD work, just give us our cards. We can send you um, information about how to sign up for different newsletters. We have lots of different work that we do on education, skills, uh, uh, labor force policies, uh, regional regional and local development, et cetera. And so, you know, our job is to make sure that what we produce at the OECD gets out to as many people as possible so that it's not one of those, you know, data reports that sits on a shelf, but is something that people can, can actively use. And we also have a Washington Center. So if you're interested, just give us your card and let us know if you're DC based and we can uh, let the Washington Center know that maybe you're interested in learning about uh, some of their activities. Um, and so, uh, you know, thank you for this workshop, which is part of our OECD Local Development Forum. Uh, one of the names that doesn't have too many commas in it, um, as uh, Ephraim referred to earlier. We uh, actually did have commas, and one of my first jobs of becoming acting head was to remove some of those commas. So, um, so um, we're glad that you were able to participate in this uh, event here in D.C., and then we have other events around the world, and so just let us know, and we'd be happy to include you to continue this really interesting uh, international policy exchange on concrete uh, actions that we can all take in different sectors of our uh, the different sectors we work with. So thanks again. Oh, thank you. So, thank you so much. Thanks. Yeah. Well, I think just in closing, uh, a couple things I learned today were that as much as we think we're different in the United States, I think I heard today we're all pretty much the same. We're all facing the same demographic challenges with older workers like me, right? Who you can't get back to work, and how do we improve that? And I think one of the things I'm hearing here is we really need to establish some kind of a promising practices portal to share across international boundaries. Because I think that's the quickest way to learn and listening to the discussion. Uh, don't understand Spanish, but I understood the, the challenge. And I think that's something that maybe we can all help out. So um, where else can you come here? Somebody from Switzerland, quote Ben Franklin. 
So uh, it was great to have that today. I do appreciate Scott for the Twitter feed. We do a lot of social work, but I do agree with better data for better policy for better lives. And I think if we can connect all that, we'll help out. So we'll end today. We're back tomorrow in the same room. So make sure you use your visitor pass to get in downstairs tomorrow. Um, so we'll be here in the room. And then tomorrow we'll have our reception upstairs. So thank you so much to our partners from OECD and others, and really to the translators. Couldn't do them without them. So thank you so much. Enjoy your evening in D.C. So